Hello, you guys. Welcome back to Channel Claire. I hope that you're doing well wherever you are in this crazy, crazy world. Only getting crazier. And yes, I know I have been away for a while. However, I thought it was so appropriate today to come back and do this video because the Princess of Wales has decided she is going to be back at work in a limited program. And she's going to be dipping her toes back in now that she has finished her preventative chemotherapy treatment. So we're going to talk about her message that she put out. We're also going to react to the video that went along with it, with this announcement of the Princess of Wales returning to work and being done with her preventative treatment. So... As we know, it's been a lot of questions, speculation since December 28th of last year. The beginning of this year was very chaotic when it comes to the royal family in Kensington Palace in particular with the doctored pictures, these statements coming out that didn't quite make sense, the fact that both King Charles and Princess Kate were diagnosed with cancer within like months of each other and it just seemed as if the comparison of how forthcoming King Charles was about his cancer situation and the lack of it's just vagueness and secrecy around the Princess of Wales it brought up so many questions and people were speculating about their marriage there was this whole thing about an alleged mistress with William, it was an absolute mess. Fake doctored photos, videos of people walking through farm uh, stores that were not them. It was just so weird at the beginning of this year. So now we are here in September and the Princess of Wales is done with her treatments and she's going to be coming back to work in a limited scenario. So we're going to look at this uh, message that was released by the account of the Prince and Princess of Wales, okay? And I want to preface all of this by saying, I love to preface, I am happy that the Princess of Wales is no longer having to go through preventative treatment. I am happy that she uh, can move on with her young family and children and care and nurture them and, you know, see her kids grow up. I'm, I'm very happy for that. I just do feel that it was very, very strange how it was handled. Um, I, I definitely know in my heart, in my mind, that there was more to it, I feel, in my opinion. You do not have to agree. Just the way that they did it, it seems like there was something more. So the Princess of Wales is back. A message from Catherine, the Princess of Wales. As the summer comes to an end, I cannot tell you what a relief it is to have finally completed my chemotherapy treatment. The last nine months have been incredibly tough for us as a family. Life as you know it can change in an instant, and we have, we have had to find a way to navigate the stormy waters and road unknown. That's very true. In a blink of an eye, your life can change. That is very, very accurate. <clears throat> The cancer journey is complex, scary, and unpredictable for everyone, especially those closest to you. With humility, it also brings you face to face with your own vulnerabilities in a way uh, in a way you have never considered before, and with that, a new perspective on everything. This time has above all reminded William and me to reflect and be grateful for the simple yet important things in life which so many of us often take for granted, of simply loving and being loved. Now, that is a very true statement as well. Doing what I can to stay cancer-free is not my focus. That statement is interesting because cancer doesn't give a fuck, clearly. If it's going to come, it's going to come, unfortunately. I don't know, like, I guess... If she's done with her preventative treatment, I guess they're going to keep, uh, you know, keep track of her levels and her numbers and everything. And if they see something spike, then they'll put her back on it. So maybe that's what it means. That's what she means by staying cancer free is her focus. Um, and I still to this day, I, I really think that it's BS that they don't have a cure for cancer. I, I, like I, it's y'all found a cure for some unknown fucking disease called COVID-19 gave us booster shots, made it so that people couldn't fucking work and everything else. If they didn't get this shot, 
multiple shots, yet you don't have a cure for cancer that has been around for eons. Like that, it never has sat right with me. I just think it's some bullshit lies. Um, so she says, I am, however, oh, I skipped this. <clears throat> Although I have finished chemotherapy, my path to healing and full recovery is long and I must continue to take each day as it comes. I am, however, looking forward to being back at work and undertaking a few more public engagements in the coming months where I can. Despite all that has gone before, I enter this new phase of recovery with a renewed sense of hope and appreciation of life. William and I are so grateful for the support we have received and have drawn great strength from all those who are helping us at this time. Everyone's kindness, empathy, and compassion has been truly humbling. To all those who are continuing their own cancer journey, I remain with you side by side, hand in hand. Out of darkness can come light, so let that light shine bright. And so it also comes with an accompanying video, three minutes long, shot by Will War. I would like to say there are a lot of people who have been on this cancer journey who have not been so lucky. And I just want to take a moment of silence for those people. Because it is a luxury to be able to get preventative treatment that will stop you or help suppress these cancerous cells or whatever so that you can have a full life and continue on to be there for your family and loved ones and see your children grow up and grow old with your husband. There's some people who don't have those opportunities, networks and connections or the funds or, or means to get that help and treatment and I want so badly since this has happened, she's saying that she's going to go back and they're grateful. It's put her into a new perspective. It's humbled her. I want so badly. She says she's coming back into doing engagements. Use this to make the biggest fucking cancer foundation. I don't understand why the fundraising? Why why not the attention? Why not the charitable acts? Why not be pushing on, you know, the cancer research funds that like, how can we come and make life better for people who are struggling with this horrific disease? She has to do something after this. She has to do something. Yes, she's going to go and do more public engagements, but it can't just you be at doing the Christmas tree and Christmas, um, fucking, you know, events and lighting a damn tree or lighting a damn fucking candle or like she needs to do something. And yes, I know she's going to take her time and it's limited, but our, she has a team around her that can help her. All she has to do is tell them, hey, this is what I want to do. This is what I've seen through my struggles. These are the things that I feel like, you know, I could have used going through the treatment and the struggle. And I feel like it could be helpful for other people in our public um, <clears throat> that I'm concerned about. And we can offer them different services, just anything from people like sitting and doing chemotherapy and doing that treatment. There are ways like maybe baskets or blankets that, you know, make little baskets of, you know, they can have crossword puzzles in it or a blankets or, you know, something so that when they get there, they have, they're more comfortable, they're more prepared because they're sitting there for hours on end. Any fucking thing, Princess of Wales, Kensington Palace, you're going to have to do something. I understand that she's not completely strong enough right now, but she has a team around her who all she has to do is say the word and direct. Make this situation that you went through that was so rough and harrowing and put you in another perspective, you have the power by being a royal in all the means in the world, you have the power to make real change in this cancer BS. She should be on fucking doing interviews, talking about why is it that we don't have a cure yet? All types of fucking shit that could be fucking done. And people would be seeing Kate Middleton as, the, are, are you kidding me? If she started doing stuff like that, Meghan Markle would be a second thought. Nobody would be checking for her. 
if Kate got up and was doing interviews and was doing the work and was, you know, making this situation she had something positive. Yes, you got your health back. You now have seen a way in the light where you can move forward with your life. But there is a lot of people who don't see that light. And I just, before I start this fucking video, because I haven't watched it yet, but I've been seeing a lot of commentary on it. That is all I feel because I know there's so many people, probably every person has been touched by cancer. There's somebody that they know. And this is a royal who has all the connections in the world, all the means in the world, who has just gone through something that millions of people go through every day and she could do something about it and she could make a change. And I hope that she does that and makes those steps. I truly, truly do. So rant over. Let's watch this. Um... As the summer comes to an end, I cannot tell you what a relief it is to have finally completed my chemotherapy treatment. The last nine months have been incredibly tough for us as a family. Life as you know it can change in an instant, and we've had to find a way to navigate the stormy waters and road unknown. Okay, so one, the video is her reading what I just read, and you see all these pictures and videos, montage of her being with her family, being out in the wilderness, feeling free, driving her car, doing the things that she, I'm sure, loves, and now she's free to do those things again. That's the imagery of this video that I'm getting. The cancer journey is complex, scary, and unpredictable for everyone, especially those closest to you. With humility, it also brings you face to face with your own vulnerabilities. Okay. So I'm very happy that Kate Middleton has gotten to keep her long, luscious, thick hair. And she's here in the sunlight. Even though she's gone through the chemo treatment, there's a lot of people who aren't as lucky, who don't get to look like this and feel like this after chemo. I'm happy that she has been able to, but there's a lot of people that don't. I don't know. I just feel like this is kind of distasteful. And it's like, look at me. Look at how I've been able to be. And it's like so many people who lack and who are truly struggling and have truly had it. Like, mm. I'm not trying to discredit what she's gone through. I just don't feel like this video of her like walking through the woods all carefree and driving her car is like what needed to have been done. Like off the bat, like I'm not even all the way through this, but like off the bat, it should have been her at different uh, foundations, meeting with different people, talking to different patients. And, you know, connecting with them on a shared experience, bringing attention to those different foundations, dropping the fucking link for those foundations. Like, I just don't get the PR team in the way that they do things and the way that they're thinking. Like, this is just so, like, this is not a Vogue run out. Like, it's just, uh, it's just. In a way you've never considered before. And with that, a new perspective on everything. Is this filming? Hello? Hello? And I'm happy the children have their mother. They're young. They need their mom. And I'm not trying to say, with me making these statements, again, I am not trying to say that I am not happy that she has her health back and that she can move on enjoy her children and her husband. I, I'm happy for that. I just don't like the way that they've gone about this whole thing. There's so many people who just don't have the luxuries they do. And it's just. This time has above all reminded William and me to reflect and be grateful for this. So they need to make these connections with William and Kate being loving and holding hands. And because of course there was a whole bunch of rumors of what was actually going on behind the scenes. Pull yet important things in life, which so many of us often take for granted of simply loving and being loved. So again, with her family, her parents, 
showing her doing her favorite things, sitting around her table with her family, playing games, something that she's happy to be able to be free to do again and have the energy and health to enjoy this. There are some people who can't. Doing what I can to stay cancer-free is now my focus. Although I have finished chemotherapy, my path to healing and full recovery is long and I must continue to take each day as it comes. I am, however, looking forward to being back at work and undertaking a few more public engagements. She's looking forward to being back at work and undertaking a few more public engagements. Your first public engagement, Kate, please do not come out to some fucking, you know, insignificant fucking pomp and circumstance event. You need to go to a cancer foundation. You need to sit down with these patients. You need to look them in the eye and talk about your shared fucking struggle of what you went through through these past nine months. Like, I, I do not get this. Like, I, I, I'm happy to see them all good and everything, but I just don't get this. It's in the coming months when I can. Despite all that's gone before, I enter this new phase of recovery with a renewed sense of hope and appreciation of life. William and I are so grateful for the support we've received and have drawn great strength from all those who are helping us at this time. Everyone's kindness, empathy and compassion has been truly humbling. To all those who are continuing their own cancer journey, I remain with you, side by side. If you remain with them, you need to show up at a cancer foundation, side by side, holding their hands. If that's what you're saying, if you're making that statement, I want to see it. I want to physically see you standing side by side, hand in hand, encouraging these people out of darkness so that they can see some light. So it shines bright on them. Hand in hand, out of darkness can come light. So let that light shine bright. So that is that. I want to know what you guys think. Do, do you think that this was the best way for them to go? Do you feel like it's distasteful? I was going to go through, you know, and read the comments of people who feel similar to me. But I know there's a lot of people who are just happy that she's okay. And I get that. We should be happy that she's okay. I'm not wishing any ill will on her. However... Just the way that this has run out and the way that they're handling this in this video, that they could have gone so many different ways with at the end of this should have been a link, should have been a contact, should have been a number for donations to a reputable foundation that is going to do the work to help people who struggle daily with cancer. I lost my Nana in March to cancer. And that's why this hits hard because she had so much life in her. Her mind was, you know, the, all the way through up to the end. Her mind, she wanted to do so much. She wanted to go out. She wanted to be here. She wanted to be involved in everything, but her body wouldn't let her because this cancer took over. So she didn't get to have that experience. And there, it just pisses me off when there's somebody who has all the power and all the means in the world to actually do something about this across the world. She can make the biggest fucking statement and stand and 
fundraise and shit, she could do it if she wanted to. If she had the wherewithal and the drive and the determination to do it, she could make a true change. She is the Princess of Wales, the future next queen of Great Britain. And I am going to reserve the rest of my thoughts to see potentially if maybe if these new upcoming engagements she goes on have to do with actually helping people and standing side by side and hand by hand with these people. I'll reserve the rest of my thoughts, but I, I hope to God that's the direction her team has her going in. Because this video just doesn't, it's just all about them and herself and I get it, like, yes, she's happy that she's free and like, but like, when you're a public person like this, you also, you make it about yourself, but you also make it about everybody else and how you want to help them because you know that you can if you wanted to. So I'm going to end it on that. I really want to know your thoughts on this video and what you guys think about, you know, this run out. Uh, because I just... I just don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Of course, everything underneath their, you know, account is glowing and a wonderful news and da da da, which it is. But if you go to like real shit, there are a lot of people who are not pleased with how this is and are like side eyeing it. And I agree. I agree. That's just my thoughts. And you don't have to agree. I completely understand. But um, with the Princess of Wales return, I wanted to return as well because this was something that, A, I was waiting on and it's finally something that I really wanted to talk about. And, you know, that's always something been like that's important to me for my channel is that I don't want to just get on here to make videos just to make videos. I've always wanted to make videos on things I actually care about that interest me and that I actually want to talk about because I'm an introvert. So really, I don't talk unless I have something to say. Um, and today I had something to say. <laughs> so forgive me for the rant, forgive me for the emotions, but this is life and it's real and it's raw and this cancer shit is just terrible and it affects so many people all over the world. And I just wish so badly that it didn't. So I will leave you guys at this. I will be back with another video on something else that I have something to say about. Bye-bye.